Hello everyone, I'm Myra and in today's video, I will be telling you guys how I landed a job as a DevOps engineer. So the first step would be to create a CV and a resume, which has all your information, all your certifications, if you have any, all your experience, all your previous experience, or your experience details, what specific things you do in that specific job or position or any kind of experience you have. And then also mention all your skills, like what kind of skills do you have? Do you work with AWS? And then write all your AWS skills. If you work with like Docker, Jenkins, all of the services and tools that you worked with, you mentioned in the skills section. So once you're done with your resume, you can start applying to different job positions of a DevOps engineer on different job boards. So it can be LinkedIn or Dice.com or Indeed or Monster, but I would prefer LinkedIn and Dice because that's where I usually apply. I think LinkedIn is one of the best ones because on LinkedIn, there are like a lot of direct hires and there are a lot of recruiters that directly message you and email you. So once you've submitted your resume and CV to different positions as a DevOps engineer with different companies, with different recruiter companies, you'll start getting responses from them if your resume and your experience is nice. They will ask you about your information, if there is a recruiter or direct hire, person they will ask you about your experience they will ask you about what you've been working on they will ask you about your experience what kind of tools you're using your whole background and your introduction so that they can note them down and they can send them to their hiring manager so once that is done and if they accept and like you they will get back to you within a few days and they will tell you we want to have like a first interview with you. The first interview can be a phone screen, which is just like on call. There is no video, but some companies also prefer their first interview as a video interview. So for my interview as a DevOps engineer, I had my first phone screen, actually a video interview. So it was not a phone screen, it was not a call. It was actually a video interview in which the person came. There was only just one person interviewing me and he actually ask me about my experience first of all there was an introduction of both the company and myself and after that there were a few questions like a few technical questions that they asked me one by one so like you know if i have like a devops engineer position right so they were asking me questions about aws they were asking me questions in detail about my projects like how did you do this project which service did you do did you use what configuration did you do so all about those in detail things after that you know there can be questions about uh, some of your experience like can you tell us about your past position what was your work like what was your team so the like? questions can you know vary from company to company but they can ask you about the overview and the basic definitions too like some interviews can be really easy some can be really hard right so it depends on the company they can ask you about linux they can ask you about networking like vpc architectures they can ask you about elastic load balancers and auto scaling groups they can go in detail about ec2 instances is how to SSH into an EC2 instance, how to configure an EC2 instance. They can also ask you about architectures and infrastructure regarding like Lambda functions, API gateways, and they can, you know, like ask about any AWS service. So you need to know about all of them. You need to have like proper experience so you can answer them. But even if you don't know an answer, like don't panic, don't be stressed stressed out don't be nervous it's okay if you don't know an answer because no one's perfect right it's okay if you don't know an answer to a specific question they're asking you can simply say that i don't know i'm not sure about this answer or you can just you know kind of rephrase the question or turn around their uh, on turn around the question and answer them in a different way right so these are kind of techniques that you can also take a look at while giving an interview however the questions can be asked around your devops experience sometimes they do go like a little further away from devops like they're not only devops related they can be like i created too like developing side but you know um it's okay I think you do need to have that experience too. It's okay, you can learn. You know, they can go out of AWS too. You can They can ask you about Jenkins, if you have an experience in Jenkins. They can ask about experience in Terraform, if you have that. But you know, inform them before the interview or inform them during the interview that you have this, this, this specific experience. You haven't worked with this tool, but you're willing to, you know, learn. You're willing to work, uh, take up new challenges. You're willing to like, you know, get on new projects and learn more. So I think that's a plus point. But other than that, the interview process is really simple. And they ask you about like specific questions and you know, your introduction 
your expertise and then in the end there is like 10 to 15 minutes in which you can ask them about their company you can ask them about their work their um like projects their tools you can ask them about what kind of work-life balance do they have like what team you will be going into if you get the position you know so you can ask these kind of questions so this was the first interview once that is done and if they like you they'll be moving on to the second interview which would be like a video technical interview with more than one person so there can be two people there can be three or four so it depends on their team on their size so for my experience i had two people in my second interview which was a technical slash and behavioral interview so in that interview which was my final interview and from which i got accepted in was based more on like you know they were asking me about my experience like what if you had this scenario how would you like handle it if you get the position what would you be doing like how will you man manage the infrastructure how will you take a look at it they will be asking about like troubleshooting experiences they will be asking you about like how do you manage working with the team how are you like a uh, like a person as a devops engineer Engineer, were you with the single DevOps engineer on your team or are you working with other DevOps engineers too? So, you know, these kind of questions can also be asked. However, a final technical interview can also be a little in depth, right? So they can ask you about like in depth configurations that you made you can they can ask you about all the projects that you've done like tell them in detail about all the pipelines you've made all the uh, automation that you've done all the deployments that you've done all the infrastructure that you've made you know you can just talk about all of your experience in detail so that is where a technical interview comes in not only that you know it again depends on the company if they're going to take a full-on technical final interview or maybe they can ask you like about those behavioral questions in their final interview so it all depends on the company again but make sure to have all the um, answers ready make sure to have all the information and the experience so that you can easily interview so you can easily answer those interview questions i mean interviews can be hard they can also be easy too it depends on company to company the person to person interviewing you and just try to be relaxed in your interview make it like a discussion if you have the experience you'll be able to explain it to them if you have the experience and the knowledge you'll be able to answer their questions so it all depends on your efforts and how good of an experience you have but it's okay if you don't you can learn by time you can you can you can let them know that you're open to learn you're open to new challenges so that they know that you're willing to have the position and then you're willing to work so this is kind of like the interview process some companies even also have a third interview but again it depends company to company for my experience getting the devops engineer job it was just a two round interview one was just a video uh, phone video phone screen technical interview in which they asked about like a lot of technical questions and my second and final interview was more like behavioral in which they asked me about how I, how I would be working if I get the position so my experience was really nice but you know again I would say that it would depend and vary from people and companies so just make sure to prepare for your interviews check out the job description before check out the job description before getting the interview that is like a must so that you know what the job requires what the position requires for you so that if you do have experience you'll be able to easily you know answer their questions because they're usually from the job description because that is what the company is requiring from you so make sure to take a look at the job description and study it in detail also if there's any like tool or service that in, that is in the job description and, th and you think that you've not worked with it you can take a look at it in on google and you know just read something about it and let them know that you know i haven't worked with it that much but you know i'm open to learn it i'm open to take up the challenge and actually learn this specific tool so it is all part of the process and it may not be easy and it takes time during the interviews it takes time applying and getting the specific position that you want but in the end if you keep on being persistent and you keep on being consistent you can actually get a devops engineer position it's not that easy but it's not that hard too it's like a balanced process that you'll get through and in the end you'll be able to get the position just try your best and if you're applying for a devops engineer position good luck to you and in your interview processes and i think this was this will be the end of the video i hope you all like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like 
this video. If you have any comments or questions regarding the interview process or how I got the position as a DevOps engineer, you can also let me ask me in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. And I'll end this video and I hope you guys subscribe to Claydesk.